Okay, so two feet of snow. A week later, after fairly decent thawed, I mean, a week ago it was 50 degrees Fahrenheit out, and we had two feet of snow. Last Sunday was 40, it was mid 30s during the week, and today it's turning just ridiculous. I don't know if you can hear it, but the wind is crazy. But that's outside. Here in the shop, it's uh, or I can't really see it very well, but it's 60. I got the temperature set to 70, so as soon as it gets warm, I will uh, start work. I did get a few things during the week. Um, a new pack of these uh, metal ties, bands, if you will, for heat wrap pipes um, to replace these things. Um, I got this detailed air gun, which should work with my compressor. It meets all the criteria, so we'll see. And I found the black automotive paint that goes with the primer. Normally I like to go with a brown primer when I use black. It just gives it a deeper luster. But they don't have brown, and this is what they recommend. So we'll give it a try and see, I guess. Um, also picked up some of this stuff, which I like because it goes on pretty thick. And that's the idea, it's just to kind of hold the wrap in place and not let the wind uh, and debris from the road separate it. Uh, but it has, uh, it's, you know, it's flame resistant to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, they claim, but eh, it's probably not quite that much. But uh, more importantly, it has little bits of ceramic in it. And when, the, when it dries, the ceramic bits kind of fuse together. And it's just going to give it an extra layer of durability, I'm hoping. But we'll see. Um, and, oh, here, let's... So today, it's 8 degrees Fahrenheit out, with a wind chill of minus 20 Fahrenheit. And that's about right. That's what it feels like. So I, I'm guessing that's... And Sunday's going to be... Tomorrow's going to be the same way. And actually throughout the week... <laughs> to be completely honest, it's just, it's going to be a cold one. Anyway, so uh, I thought I'd, those are just resting in there, so I'll uh, move the wife's car outside, take the headers off, put them on the table, and paint them. That's for sure what I'm going to do today. I'm also thinking I'm going to take the fender off, now that I've found the paint and the primer and have the air gun. Um and repaint it and see how that works out. If that works out, wow, well, look at how dusty that is, wow. Anyway, if that works out, if it works out well, then I'll, I'll do the tank. Oof, uh, one problem I have is, um, as you can see, like here, again, I don't know if you can see it, but I soldered all these wires together. I worked with uh, Godfrey from Godfrey's Garage and um, you may or may not know him if you if you search up Cafe Racer, his bike is one of the first ones to come up on Google Image or whatever. Um, he did a Cafe Racer called Cafe Overkill, which was a CB550 like this one. Uh, slightly newer. Um, he, he just, oh, that bike was just incredible. How dusty that is. Oh my god. I'm going to have to wipe that off. But um, anyway, so I think when I'm, uh, you know, we thought, oh, I'll just. Let's get rid of the barrel connectors and just solder them together because our goal was to isolate. We, the bike wasn't charging. We were trying to figure out how to get it to charge. Anyway, uh, so it turns out uh, that was probably a mistake because in order to get the fender off, I now have to cut these. So, <laughs> oh well, such is life. Um, so, uh, for sure I'll do the headers today, uh, you know, paint them. Um, I had to, re I'm going to have to reorder the clutch. It's, the place I had it just doesn't seem like they're going to get it in anytime soon. And I really kind of wait, wait for that for uh, our tax return anyway. So, as it's, it's a rather pricey item. Um, so in the meantime though, I can do the headers and the rear fender because we got two more months of this before, you know. I'm glad Transcendental, hope I said that right, uh, was able to go out for a ride because uh, 
at least he got to do that. Here, if, even if it got in the 60s here, you have to wait until at least one good all-day rain because the roads are just white with salt and there's sand um, at all the intersections and around corners and, and uh, on hills. And, uh, and on top of that, they add this um, liquid slurry that they put down that doesn't freeze to like negative... 15 Fahrenheit or something anyway so you really don't want to be out on the road until you've had one good heavy rain um, because you're really just gonna slide you're just gonna go you know and your bikes gonna be all white with salt and it's just oh it's, it's horrible I did that a few times I won't ever do that again <laughs> it was just a nightmare so I guess I'll bring you back I gotta wait for the garage to uh, clean up uh, warm up sorry um, but uh, I might get to that rear fender tomorrow. I'm not sure. Um, my wife's having surgery on Tuesday, and uh, we got things we got to get together before then, so uh, I might be kind of busy with that. But I don't know. One thing at a time. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but uh, I saw the wonderful job GT's garage did on his tank. Oh my God, that was awesome. Good job. Good job. And it was nice to see all the green <laughs> when you were painting outside. I'm like, oh, I was so jealous. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so while I'm letting the garage heat up, I figured I'd take these off and put the straps on because while the paint will go on them, it won't stay because they're stainless steel. But, um, mm, that's fine. I'd rather. I'd rather not get paint on these because these are actually for our pool pump, so I just soon not get paint on them. So we'll see how these work. The other ones work pretty good, so I assume these will as well. They just got a hold, really. So these metal straps, I got them at the local auto parts store, so probably could find them anywhere um, they're nice because when you as you tighten them down they just tighten there's no you don't have to crimp them later or nothing so it's pretty nice um, let's, problem is, is I'm never sure if I got it tight enough yeah see I'm not getting it tight I don't know I uh, mentioned the. Uh, hang on, let me turn that down. It's a little low. All right. I'd mentioned Cafe Overkill earlier. I'll throw a picture in here if I think of it. Um, that guy, Godfrey, is just. All right. I don't know how much of that I lost. My camera just decided to randomly shut off. I think it's the new battery I got for it. Isn't very good. Thought it was a direct Sony replacement, but apparently it's not. See, I can't get that much tighter. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, but um, I suppose it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, but uh, I really want to make sure this doesn't. about as tight as I can get it, I think. It's not coming any tighter. Alright. So they're done. Uh, nice and snug, real tight. I just I just used the vice grips and twisted them, and then I used the uh, lock pliers just to hold them in place while I twisted them. It worked fine. They're all good and snug. They're not going anywhere. They're tight as can be. Now, that said, I have four more of these. I don't need them. They're stainless steel. Uh, they can handle heat in excess of 250 degrees and 
they have a hundred foot pound uh, tensile strength and uh, they're up to two inches no I'm sorry up to eight inches long uh, up to two inches in diameter I should say two inches in diameter so when you loop them around two inches is the biggest you can go and they'll still lock um, but you can obviously go a lot smaller so anyway anybody needs any of these get a hold of me I'll be more than happy to mail them to you it won't cost me anything really to mail them and it, these were twenty dollars for eight of them so it's just ridiculous so don't spend the money if you don't need to because I got them <laughs> so you can have them if you want that said figure another 20 minutes and the garage will be warm enough I got the paint over on the heater uh, just above the register getting warm so we'll be back when that's all ready okay so it's, it's had quite a bit of time to warm up uh, I'll use this uh, just in the pipes just to heat them up real good in fact I did this earlier in the week practically emptied this bottle getting these as hot as I could to help the wrap kind of shrink and uh, cure up um, but now I'm gonna paint now uh, I'm gonna you don't really want to watch me painting it's just painting you know but um I'm gonna turn the camera off because I want to cover it so that I don't get paint on it but uh, I'll bring you back there after it's painted because it's should be ready now okay that's the first coat just a light one but um, I'm gonna let that cure up for about 10 minutes hit it with another coat uh, I'm probably gonna do three total and then flip it over and do three wherever I couldn't get it and that'll be it so I'll come back after the third one after the last one and then um, that's where we'll be and yeah the bands did take the paint but the paint will over time come off of those bands flake off because they are stainless steel it's just not going to stick to them but it may take a while for the paint to cure uh, get real hot and then it'll probably just flake off that's my guess I'm probably fairly certain that's what will happen so anyway we'll be back okay there it is done and done I think um, I think what I'm going to do however I've been thinking about this and I think uh, from here to about here I'm gonna wrap these again there's some one inch uh, titanium strips up at the auto store uh, it's only 15 feet but it should be enough and I just wrap both these pipes together my goal here is to make it so the oil filter sits right here um, you know right here so and it's real close to these pipes so double wrapping these would hide this which is not a big deal like really don't care how it looks but it would hide this but more importantly it would add another layer of heat resistance against the oil uh, filter because I noticed it gets really hot in the summer uh, the one time I was out I was like 86 degrees out and I was sitting in traffic and the heat coming off of there was just incredible between the heat coming up off the pavement the heat from the headers all surrounding that oil filter I can't, and you know when you're at an idle the oil isn't moving as fast I'm just thinking I gotta do whatever I can to minimize the amount of heat around that oil filter and I think double wrapping these would accomplish that um, when I heated these up with the propane torch earlier I got them to the point where I couldn't touch the metal without really without it hurting and these were warm but not hot so double wrapping this might be the way to go so I think I'm gonna do that um, but first I'll put this on the bike get a few miles on it let it cure real good once I'm confident that the paint in the um, wrap is cured really good then uh, I'll just throw that wrap on there I'm not gonna worry about painting it or anything I don't think I'll need to um, but I think that's going to be the next thing but right now I gotta go in the house and get some stuff done um, but I'm hoping to come out after dinner and start taking that rear fender off and <coughs> I don't know I might even actually get to paint it this weekend we'll see um, uh, at the very least I'd like to get a coat of primer on it by Sunday night so <laughs> okay my crush gaskets for the exhaust showed up today Saturday <laughs> nice huh 